The president helps establish association goals, and these goals help direct board efforts. The president should also prioritize these goals and provide a framework for them to be accomplished. Clearly defined goals contribute to the success of the association. Goals can range from, we will lengthen the pool season and pay for it by, to, we will retain an engineering firm to perform a reserve study. The president, being the highest officer on the board, speaks officially for the board of directors and the association. The president usually serves as the liaison between the board and the property manager. An important point the president must remember is that when speaking on behalf of the association, he or she must report back to the board on what was said. The communications and decisions must be in line with the views of the board. The president must have a spirit of cooperation when working with the board, which many times will have varying opinions and ideas. The president should encourage the other board members to participate because the contributions of all members are vital. Because of the many actions and topics at any given board meeting, the board cannot always handle all the work in an effective manner. When this occurs, committees can provide an important service to the board of directors and the president. Committees can focus efforts on topics that need in-depth research, input, and thoughtful consideration before a recommendation is made. As an added benefit, committees provide an opportunity for the membership to participate. The president, with board guidance, is tasked with appointing chair members and assigning committee tasks. The president should also establish time frames for committee reports. Once the committee is established, the president should be able to provide additional guidance. The president must put forth more effort than the other board members with regard to fiduciary responsibilities because this role can be extensive with regard to negotiating contracts with vendors and interacting with the property manager. Board members and the general membership trust that the president will act in the best interest of the association when performing their duties. However, the president does not have authority to act without board guidance or consent. 